Oh well, guys, welcome back to Turner Fishing. I'm Steven Turner. So on today's video, this video is centered around beginner crappy fishing. We're going to be breaking down a dock cast by cast. And when I tell you I catch a lot of fish back to back to back, you're going to have to stay tuned and check it out because I'm going to teach you a very, very simple technique that once you locate a fish on the dock, you're able to repeat this technique over and over 365 days of the year and able to put more fish in your boat, more fish off of that one dot that you found fish on and able to capitalize, put more meat in your freezer. Just pick up and line. There he is right there. Oh, that's a nice crap. Yes. Get in here. We all up on this dang motor. <laughs> Another nice one. Choked it right there. About a 10 incher. Same exact cast that we just made. The setup I'm using is a 5 foot ACC crappy stick. I have a 132 ounce crappy man jig head with a monkey milk little minnow. But what I've done is I've actually drilled out my rod so I'm able to feel that bite just a little bit better. We're just tossing this 132 ounce crappy man jig head out with a monkey milk on it. And we're letting it pendulum back until it gets straight with the rod and reel. And that's when I'm gonna pick up and actually start crawling it back to the boat. Just a steady retrieve. And that's the thing about dock fishing is, you know, I am honestly going to keep it as simple as I can. Now, yeah, I do have live scope and I could just sit there and pick off fish but a lot of people don't have live scopes so i'm trying to show you all that it's still possible to catch these fish without it and i can still do it too there's one right there i mean once you get in the groove and these fish actually want to bite that is a nice fish it's all about repeating the cast and having patience and i mean they are just freaking choking that jig another nice 10 inch now we're gonna pick up get our line ready and it's just a simple pitch over to that corner and that seems to be where i'm getting the bite Just like that and we're going to take our finger we're going to put it on the line because when they bite it's going to hit that finger and it's, to me it's kind of like a trigger on a gun if i feel that dunk i'm going to set the hook but i'm also paying attention to my line as it's in the water and we got one on right now ah, a little bluegill oh no oh yeah a little bluegill that's a shell cracker <laughs> Think about shell cracker, they got a little bit old mouse. Little shell cracker. We've got one nice bluegill today. So we're gonna pitch it out there. Get the boat back in position. And we're just letting it fall. Holding our line. And we're just waiting on a bite. You know, I may bump it up and down every now and then. But really, you know, God, man, they, they are biting so light. But I'm getting bit every cast. So what's taken? Oh, we shot it into the hole over there. <laughs> All right, just let it fall. That 
there's a pretty good amount of fish on this dock and as y'all can see they're pretty hungry so the bait has pendulum them oh we got one. Oh my god <laughs> when i'm telling you they are just putting it in their mouth let me fix my hook a little bit there in there so we're just making the same cast i'm not looking at this screen i know there's fish there from looking at the screen but i could have seen those fish with side imaging or having a cheap depth finder up front Anybody can use this technique to catch fish. And it is super, super simple. You're literally just throwing it out there and letting it come back to the boat. And with these smaller jig heads and smaller jigs, you're giving it ample time to get a bite. So it's, it made it all the way back to the boat. We're just gonna whine. Now you're not gonna catch a fish every cast. And I mean, some days you do, but most of the time, you know, you may get lucky and catch a few off a dock, but most docks, you're only going to get a couple bites. Now with the way they're biting, I could possibly get a limit right here while I'm sitting here talking to y'all and that would be awesome. That would be a good video. So if you're enjoying this video so far, make sure you hit the thumbs up button. There he is. Light bite. I'm talking just barely, barely biting. Another quality fish. Right in the roof of the mouth. Exactly where you want it. Right there. Another quality, quality fish. And as y'all can see, we've caught six so far, same jig, everything. I mean, these jigs are made to last. Now I can make these jigs softer if I wanted to, but I mean, I know how it is to buy a pack of, of Bobby Garlands or something and they don't last that long. There's another one. Oh, that one. It was a little bit, but oh yes, dude. That is a nice fish. Barely hooked, barely hooked. Come here, buddy. Nice crappy. Oh my God, dude. Look at that slab. That's what you're looking for right there. Right there, that crappy man jigs. Freaking monkey milk, man. Right there, the roof of the mouth, exactly where you want it. That's a toad right there, guys. Toad. Now, you know, I'm doing this whole video with no cut. My camera back there just cut off. I'm gonna have to go cut it back on. I don't know why it's doing that. So, fix my hook and everything. I'm gonna step right back here and cut my camera off and then we're gonna catch another one. I'll cut it on. All right, so that camera's back on. It's my first time ever trying to record with two different angles. <laughs> so, just think about YouTube, man. It's hard sometimes to put filming first when you're catching fish. So we made the exact same cast. Get the boat out just a little bit. We're just going to let it fall. I mean, this might be a long video. I don't know. They're going to keep biting. It's going to be pretty long. 
I'll catch a limit right here on camera. Oh, my jig was messed up. All right, so we're just gonna flick it out there. Give it a little bit of line. That's not the same cast, but I believe it'll get the job done. You gotta have confidence in it. I kinda wanna switch to my smaller rod, but, cause it's more sensitive than this rod. All right, so it seems like you gotta get it back there, kind of towards that corner. That's where the fish is. So right there, should be a slabby dabby. So like I said, as I'm letting it fall, I'm watching my line, you know, keeping them a little bit of a bow in it. I mean, yeah, most of the time you feel them, but it's just another point of reference that could be the making of you either going to catch the fish or you're not going to catch the fish. But I'm hoping there's some more like that one I just caught in here. I believe that first one I hung was probably about the same size as that. My jig keeps going down. This is the same jig I used last week, so... <laughs> It probably is time for a new one. I do have an, a new color I want to try out that we may do. I may have to edit this video just a little bit. Keep y'all entertained. There he is. Mm, another nice one, guys. Nice slab. Oh, he is digging. This a giant. Just let him play out. Don't give him no slack, Steven. Oh, my God, yes. About the same size as the last one. Right there in the roof of the mouth where it should be. Another freaking toad. Hook fell right out. Yes. On that same monkey milk jig. I was about to change the jig. <laughs> I keep bending my hook a little bit. I don't recommend biting the jig like I do to get your hook back because you might hook yourself in the lip, but I've been doing that for a couple years. So I am repeating the cast. We've got a bluegill. <laughs> they just everything on this dock today. Bluegills will mess your dang jig up too, man. Get my hook back, boy. All right. So the, the way I caught that one that we just caught, I had it all the way pendulum. Like it was all the way, I was about to start winding it. And I bumped it one good time. Just gave it a little action. I mean, he thumped it pretty good. It wasn't a light bite like the other ones have been doing. So, I mean, you just gotta add that to your cast as you're going. If you figure out a way to get one to bite, just add it to your cast. <laughs> 